after studying this module, you shall be able to know about hallucinogen drugs and their classification, some notable hallucinogens and their signs and symptoms, and forensic analysis of hallucinogen drugs. First, we shall start with the introduction to hallucinogens. Hallucinogens, also called psychedelics or psychotomimetic agents, are substances that induce changes in thought, perception, and mood without causing major disturbances in the autonomic nervous system. Perceptual alterations can take the form of illusions, synesthesias, or hallucinogens. An illusion is the result of misinterpretation of an actual experience, while synesthesias are sensory misperceptions. Example, hearing, color, or seeing sound. Both require external stimuli for their institution. Hallucinations differ from them in this important respect since they are perceptual alterations without any external stimulation whatsoever. Hallucinations may be visual, auditory, olfactory, gustatory or tactile in nature. Most hallucinogens induce visual or auditory hallucinations. A few cause tactile or olfactory manifestations, while a number of therapeutic drugs can cause hallucinations in overdose. They are not classified as hallucinogens. A true hallucinogen is a drug that induces hallucinations in small doses, sometimes as in the case of LSD in microgram doses. Most genuine hallucinogens cause vivid visual hallucinations while the other types of hallucinations are relatively uncommon. Drugs with hallucinogenic properties have an obvious deleterious effect on driving. Inability to distinguish illusion from reality results in poor decision making and consequently poorer driving. Drugs such as psilocybe mushrooms, mescaline, lysergide that is LSD, Ketamine and PCP can produce fully formed hallucinations. Seeing objects, shapes or individuals that are not present and synesthesias or blending of sensory information such as seeing sounds or hearing colors. Ketamine and its psychomotor effects on driving have been evaluated. Many other drugs can produce milder hallucinations including as noted earlier, cannabis and stimulants. Methylene dioxy substituted amphetamines such as MDMA, methylene dioxide amphetamine MDA, or methylene dioxy it amphetamine that is MDEA can also produce hallucinations, particularly tactile ones that enhance sensitivity to touch. However, the predominant impairing effects of that class of compounds appear more related to their excitatory and stimulant properties. The popularity of hallucinogenic drugs has been fueled by their glamorous representation in films and rock music. The 1960s saw an explosion of hallucinogen use almost in the form of an epidemic and though it declined steeply in the 1970s and 1980s, there has been an alarming resurgence over the last decade. Next is classification of hallucinogens. True hallucinogens may be categorized according to their derivatives. First is indole alkaloid derivatives. They contain indole ring, which is simply a six-membered benzene ring fused to a five-member ring containing nitrogen in their molecular structure. Example, LSD, psilocin, psilocybin, ibogaine, harmin, DMT, DET, DPT, and bufotene. Second is piperidine derivatives. The basic structure is a heterocyclic amine consisting of a six-membered 
ring containing five methylene bridges and one amine bridge. Example, the tura, cocaine, phencyclidine and ketamine. Third is phenylethylamine derivatives. These compounds contain a phenylethylamine structure within example is mescaline and designer amphetamines. Fourth is cannabinoids. Example is tetrahydrocannabinol. Next is notable hallucinogens. First is lysergic acid diethylamine also known as LSD. It is also known by the names of acid, microdot, purple haze, white lightning, etc. LSD has derived its name from the German Lysurge Sore Diethylamide. It is the most powerful hallucinogen known to man. It is one of the indole alkaloid derivative, others being psilocybin and psilocine. That is contained in the Mexican mushroom Psilocybe Mexicana. LSD was synthesized by Hoffman in 1938 who was working on the chemistry of argoid alkaloids and he experienced its hallucinogenic effects by himself. The properties of LSD were known in 1943. LSD is said to be the most powerful of all hallucinogens and is active in doses of 50 to 100 micrograms. It occurs as a water soluble, colorless, tasteless and odorless powder. Next is phencyclidin. Phencyclidin is also known by pseudonyms as angel dust, peace pill, hog, goon, rocket fuel, cadillac, supergrass etc. Phencyclidin that is PCP was developed for use as an anesthetic in the late 1970s but was abundant quickly because of an unacceptably high incidence of post-operative psychotic reactions. PCP that is 1-phenyl cyclohexypipridine is easily synthesized and several variants exist. It is usually smoked in combination with tobacco and less frequently with marijuana but it may also be ingested or injected. Phencyclidin binds to inotropic N-methyl D-aspartate that is NMDA receptors in the nervous system blocking ion current through these channels. The most common street preparation angel dust is a white granular powder that contains 50 to 100 percent of the drug. Next is mescaline. Mescaline is a phenyl alkyl amine that was isolated in 1896 from Mexican peyot cactus. The scientific name is Lohophora williamsi, growing in the deserts of Central America. Of the four alkaloids, alkaloids, mescaline is most important. The extracts are used as an intoxicating drink called mescal buttons. 3 to 15 mg per kg produces the moderate effects and duration of action is 1 to 56 hours. 200 mg of mescaline sulfate produces intoxicating effects. This is the oldest known drug with the primary hallucinogenic action. Next is dimethyl tryptamine that is DMT. NN dimethyl tryptamine DMT is a hallucinogen obtained from the seeds and leaves of certain South American plants such as Peptidinia pergina and Virola calophylla as well as in the tropical legume Methuna prupens. Dimethyl tryptamine DMT is not absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract and so is typically snorted, smoked or injected. This elicits a virtually instantaneous onset of visual hallucinogens, bodily dissociation, extreme shifts in mood and auditory phenomena. Effects peak 
within two minutes after injection and resolves in 20 to 30 minutes. This has earned it the name businessman's trip. Physical effects include midrasses, raised body temperature, tachycardia and hypertension. Next is tetrahydrocannabinol that is THC. Tetrahydrocannabinol is the active principle of cannabis indica that is marijuana. For time immemorial it has been the most popular recreational and ritualistic intoxicant. All parts of the male and female plant contain active principle. Tetrahydrocannabinol that is THC is absorbed into the bloodstream through the walls of the lungs when smoked and through the walls of stomach or intestine when ingested. The bloodstream carries THC into the brain that produces the high effects of the drug. It exerts quicker action through inhalation. The tetrahydrocannabinols are Lebai compounds that may change when exposed to UV light or acid. The typical psychological effects are due to death. Next is methylene dioxy methamphetamine that is MDMA. Methylene dioxy methamphetamine MDMA is the classical member of large series of phenethylamine designer drugs and has become one of the main drugs of abuse in many countries in northern Europe. Clandestine production is centered largely in Europe. A number of homologous compounds with broadly similar effects such as methylene dioxy amphetamine that is MDA, MDEA and N-methyl 1,1,3-benzo-dioxol 5-I-2-butane-amine that is MBDB have also appeared but have proved less popular. These substances are collectively known as the ecstasy drugs. MDMA is the most common drug encountered in ecstasy tablets. The tablets are typically 10 millimeter in diameter, either flat or biconvex and weigh approximately 200 to 300 mg. The MDMA content varies but is generally in the range 30 to 100 mg per tablet. The tablets normally carry a characteristic logo or imprint. These designs are not restricted to MDMA tablets but may be found on amphetamine and other illicit products. In other words, the logo and other physical characteristics provide no reliable information on the drug content. The main pharmacological effect of MDMA is an increase in secretion and inhibition of reuptake of serotonin, dopamine and norepinephrine in the brain. MDMA causes euphoria, a feeling of empathy, increased energy and tactile sensation. In some cases, MDMA can cause mild stimulation and severe stimulation similar to that of cocaine. MDMA can impair judgment resulting in dangerous behavior. The short term health risks associated with taking MDMA include hypertension, hyperthermia and dehydration while the main long term effect includes severe depression due to permanent disruption of serotonin production in the central nervous system. Next is psilocybin. Psilocybin is produced synthetically or extracted from the psilocybe Mexicana mushroom and other mushroom species. It is chemically related to LSD. The drug is most often sold in the mushrooms themselves and are known by the names like psychedelic mushrooms, magic mushrooms and shrooms. Usually taken orally, psilocybin is found in dried or fresh mushrooms or as a powder in capsules. It is sometimes brewed into a tea. Typical doses range from 4 to 
10 milligrams, but are hard to control because the active amount of hallucinogens in mushrooms differ widely according to the genus, strength and condition, whether they are fresh or dry of the mushrooms. Next is signs and symptoms. Hallucinogens produce a dreamlike state with distortion, loss of contact with reality. There is distortion of visual perception such as swaying of the field of the vision. Objects appear distorted similar to images in a curved mirror and faces may appear grotesque. There is an awareness of intense luminosity of color and on closing eyes colorful images appear to surge. There is alteration of time sense and music appears tangible. Ability to concentrate is impaired. Ataxia is not a prominent feature. The person feels relaxed and is extremely happy. May sometimes laugh uncontrollably or become sad or weak. With higher doses, panic reactions and sinking sensations are common. Next is medical legal aspect of hallucinogens. Few of the hallucinogenic drugs are primary causes of death, but some may lead to traumatic deaths because of the abnormal behavior of the person who is under their influence. Hallucinogens are also known as psychotomimetic, psychotogen, psychedelics or psychosleptics. These are drugs that cause excitation of central nervous system characterized by hallucination, mood changes, anxiety, sensory distortion, delusion, depersonalization, increased pulse rate, temperature and blood pressure, dilation of pupil, psychic dependence, depressive or suicidal psychosis. Next is forensic analysis. First is fast blue B salt test. Filter paper method. Preparation of reagent, solid reagent. Dilute and mix fast blue B salt with anhydrous sodium sulfate in the ratio of 1 is to 100. Solution 1, petroleum ether. Solution 2, a 10% weight by weight aqueous solution of sodium bicarbonate. Next is procedure. Two filter papers are folded to form fluted funnels and kept on each other. Small amount of suspected sample is placed into the corner of the upper funnel of the paper and added two drops of solution one. Allow the liquid to penetrate to the lower filter paper funnel. Discard the upper filter paper and dry the lower filter paper. Now add a very small amount of the solid fast blue B reagent to this lower paper and add two drops of solution 2. A purple red colored stain on the filter paper indicates the presence of cannabis product. Next is test tube method. Preparation of reagent, solid reagent. Dilute and mix fast blue B salt with anhydrous sodium sulfate in the ratio of 2.5 is to 100. Solution 1 is chloroform and solution 2 is 0.1 normal aqueous sodium hydroxide solution. Procedure. Small amount of suspected material is taken in a test tube. A very small amount of the solid reagent and 1 ml of solution 1 is added to it. Shake well for 1 minute and add 1 ml of solution 2. Shake the test tube for 2 minutes and allow this test tube to stand for 2 minutes. A purple red color in the lower layer of chloroform indicates the positive result of the presence of cannabis product. Next is Duquesnoy's Levine test. First is preparation of reagent. 5 drops of acetaldehyde and 0.4 grams of vanillin are dissolved in 20 ml of 95% ethanol. Next is the procedure. Small amount of suspected material 
is taken in a test tube and shaken with 2 ml reagent for 1 minute. Add 2 ml of concentrated HCl and shake it well. Allow it to stand for 10 minutes and then add 2 ml of chloroform. Appearance of violet color in chloroform layer that is the lower layer indicates the presence of cannabis. Next is alternate test. First is preparation of reagent, 5 drops of acetaldehyde and 0.4 grams of vanillin are dissolved in 20 ml of 95% ethanol. Procedure, the sample is extracted with petroleum ether, filtered and evaporated to dryness, added 2 ml of duquinoise reagent to dissolve the residue, add 2 ml of concentrated hydrochloric acid, shake and keep for 10 minutes. Transfer the solution into a test tube and add 2 ml of chloroform and shake. Purple color in the chloroform layer indicates tetrahydrocannabinol. Next test is Elrich reagent test. First is the preparation of reagent. 1 gram para dimethylamine benzaldehyde that is PDMAB is dissolved in 10 ml methanol and 10 ml concentrated orthophosphoric acid is added to it further. Procedure, take appropriate amount of the sample or few drops of methanol extract of the sample in a depression spot plate and add two drops of L-rich reagent. Appearance of a blue to purple color indicates the presence of LSD. Next is Marquis reagent test. 8 to 10 drops of 40% formaldehyde solution is added to 10 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid. Procedure, take appropriate amount of the sample or few drops of Marquis reagent. Orange color changes to brown color which finally changes to purple indicates the presence of LSD. Next is Frode's reagent test. Preparation of reagent, 50 milligrams of molybdic acid or sodium molybdate is dissolved in 10 ml of hot concentrated sulfuric acid. The resulting solution should be colorless. Procedure, take appropriate amount of the sample or few drops of Frode's reagent. Olive green changes to blue which changes to green indicating the presence of LSD. Next is Mekke's reagent test. First is the preparation of reagent. 0.25 grams of selenius acid is dissolved in 25 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid. Procedure, take appropriate amount of the sample or few drops of Mekke's reagent. Orange color indicating the presence of mescaline and green color changing to blue purple indicating the presence of MDA. Next is Liberman's test. Preparation of reagent. Add 5 grams of sodium nitrate to 50 ml of sulfuric acid with cooling and swirling to absorb the brown fumes. Procedure. Take appropriate amount of the suspected material or exhibit on a spot plate. Add to it 2 to 3 drops of Liberman's reagent. Occasionally, it is required to carry out the test in a test tube and heat it in a water bath at 100 degree centigrade. The appearance of black color indicates the presence of mescaline. We'll end this module with summary. Helsinogen abuse has been traditionally a western phenomena and drugs of abuse such as LSD and fencyclidin have always been popular only in countries such as the USA, UK, Australia and parts of Europe. The dangers of hallucinogen use do not have as much to do with acute toxicity as with long term psychological damage. The inevitable fallout is violent crime manifesting as assaultive behavior, homicides and suicides. Several horrific crimes have been committed by drug crazed individuals acting out their bizarre fantasies. Drugs with hallucinogenic properties 
have an obvious deleterious effect on driving. Inability to distinguish illusion from reality results in poor decision making and consequently poorer driving. Psilocybe mushrooms, mescaline, LSD and PCP can yield demonstratively molded hallucinogens like seeing objects, shapes or individuals that are not actually existing and synesthesias or blending of sensory information such as seeing sounds or hearing colors. LSD is one of the most potent hallucinogenic substances known. LSD can be produced by several different methods, the majority of which use lysergic acid as the starting material. Lysergic acid itself is also produced in clandestine laboratories using most commonly ergometrine or ergotamine tartrate as the starting material. The hallucinogenic substances psilocine and its phosphate ester psilocybin occur in a number of fungi, particularly those of the genus psilocybe. 